Hey everybody, I'm Coach Sushi. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario, Paper Mario. And uh, right here, if you hit this uh, with your hammer, you can get the dolly. This is pretty important for later on. Well now, I believe that's the dolly that Gumbaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. Alright. Yeah, uh, basically you can hit hammers, or you can hit trees with hammers. Not hit hammers with trees. Right here is a coin, go ahead and get that. Um, I did see if there's anything in here. A mushroom! Alright, our first item, item in the game. You got an item! We'll use items in this game to attack enemies to recover your HP points and do an, uh, 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 a bunch of other stuff. Now, uh, press C left and you'll view your mushroom, your, view your items, excuse me. A mushroom, uh, a mushroom, um, heals, uh, 5 HP, but, uh, you can use that heart block to heal yourself. Um, in here is nothing. Uh, right here is pretty not important, but it's a good it's a good thing. I re recommend getting here later on when you get a different hammer. Now, once you get over here, I believe there's nothing in here. Oh, yeah, okay. Go up here, get the coins, and now there is a fire flower. Does what it does is um, when you use it in battle, it'll dis it'll um, attack three. It'll attack all enemies for three damage. Okay, now these are. Now, Goombas are going to be appearing. What he said there was you can get a first strike by um, just jumping on the enemy or using your hammer right before you enter battle. And it does one damage right when you enter the battle. That's really uh, helpful. You can use two star points. Awesome. Now, once this is over, I'm not really going to cut out these fights until they actually get long and draining. Now, uh, what's coming up here is a Spiked Goomba. Go ahead and use your hammer on that out of battle so you can do a first strike. Spiked Goomba's here, um, like Goomba's gonna tell you, he has a spike on his head, so you can't jump on him, so go ahead and use your hammer. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, I actually had to do something. Uh, go ahead, and there we go. Alright. Now, uh, once you're done there, go ahead and actually, uh, right here is a para Goomba, a flying Goomba, so it gives you three types of Goombas in this game. Actually, there's six types, I'll explain them later. Okay, so, um, when they're airborne, you can't hit them with your hammer unless you hit them, unless they're on the ground already. Uh, if you jump, if you knock them out of the air, they'll fall to the ground, so that's a good point there. Now, go ahead and jump on them, and there you go. It's on the ground, and... We're gonna finish them off in one last hit. These fights are really easy in the beginning. I don't feel the need I need to cut them out. But I guess I will cut them out later. Alright, so those are the basic uh, Goombas right now. I'll be cutting out the other Goombas as we do them. Alright, there we go. I took care of that Goomba really fast. Um, in here is a coin. And right over here is something pretty important. It is a star piece. Alright, those are really important for later on. But, uh, you'll find out what it's for later. I'll explain it, um, some other time. But I'll be collecting. I'm going for 100% in this game. I'll be collecting every star piece in this game. So that's gonna be fun. Also, I might have a few other surprises planned in store for you guys. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Alright. It's Goompa. Never fear, Goompa is here. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside, and wow, both of you and the Verdana were gone. A variety. I don't know how to say that stuff. But anyways, I'm just gonna skip through these. These go, this text go faster with just holding, or just pressing B. Now, uh, Goomba here is gonna want to give us something. And look at Goombaria, she was crying there for me. That dolly you, you got, that's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Yep. And if you give it back to her, this is gonna happen. It's my dolly, dolly, yay. So happy, my sweet dolly, don't you ever get lost again. And you get a star piece. Very nice, that's our second star piece in the game. And she gives us a kiss, which shook Mario. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goomba. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. I'm starting to show too. I'm getting big muscles. Wait, big muscles? You don't even have any arms or... Legs. You have feet, though. Uh, should be a Goomba. I don't know. Sorry, I kept you waiting. No, but we're just wrapping things up here. Wrapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. 
And he gives us the Power Jump Badge! Alright, our first badge in this game is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a Power Jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your Jump Attack. Listen here and listen well, you'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Put putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. No, I don't need to know because I already know how. No. Okay, um, I'll explain it in a bit if you don't know how. Now, uh, badges, uh, they can also, uh, they use, uh, FP during battle, but they're also, they also make your attacks stronger and more powerful and all that stuff. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Yes, right. yes. Adventure, yeah, we are going to adventure! Uh, here's an idea. Goombario! Uh, get it? Mario. Goombario. Okay, you probably don't get it, but whatever. I'm sure Mario will agree you should accompany, accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go? Goompa, may I really go? Yes, you can go. <coughs> Mario won't regret this. Goombario, join your party! Alright. Goombario. Oh, man. Uh, press down C to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. You know what this just reminded me? My first Let's Play ever. Mario, I swear. Ah, uh, if you if you don't understand the first Let's Play thing, then go ahead and watch my first Let's Play. You'll understand why it reminded me so much about it. Oh wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. No, I don't need to. Yep, in the Toad House, it'll heal your HP and MP for free. Unlike in Paper Mario, the Thousand Your Door, you actually uh, spend money to do it. Now, Gumbario, uh, basically, here, if you press C down, he will use, uh, his tattle, which, uh, tells you information about where you are. Alright, um, also, the badges. Badges here are, first you can do is power jump, and it needs BP. You use the BP, um, it only needs one BP, and you can only have three. Every time you upgrade, you will have an extra three BP. The more you get badges, the more stronger you become, so that's gonna be good. Dad, did you hear I'm going out adventuring with Mario? I'll make you proud, Dad. I'll s I swear. Do your best, son. Alright. And now go ahead and break this with your hammer. There we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, stay cool, a calm mind is the wisest. Alright. So, let's go! Oh gosh, I have a feeling my dad's will just lagged out right now for like three seconds. Anyways, go ahead and beware of Goombas. And look, paper. Oh, dang it. Uh, I guess I'll take this time to actually show uh, Goombario's skills. Um, first, uh, let's show his uh, skill right here. First, he's got Head Bonk, which you can just quickly use, which is basically just equivalent to Mario's jump right here. Go ahead and do that. Alright. Two star points. Next, his next ability I'll show in the next fight. Let's go. Alright, got him there. Now, uh, his next ability is actually, hold on, let me take care of this Goomba. Uh, alright, so his next ability right here is called Tattle. So, uh, see enemy description and make HP visi uh, visible, so... It'll tell you information about the selected enemy, and it'll also, it'll also tell stuff like what's attack power, HP, all that stuff. Now, um, now it'll have a HP bar at the bottom, so that's a good thing. I won't be using Tattle that much, because I don't really need to, because... That's going to be useless when we get a certain badge. So go ahead and use head bonk and boom. There we go. Usually people use tattle mainly on bosses, so that's a, I guess it's a good thing. You can see their HP. Take care of this guy really fast. Oh, by the way, really quick, I just wanted to show before we leave. Um, I'm gonna use head bonk here. Um, I want to show the effects of Power Jump, so let's do that, uh, go Mario. So, Power Jump is the badge we just put, and if you use it, it'll do double damage, or not double damage, it'll do three damage, what am I saying? It's much more stronger and kills Goombas in one hit, alright. But, uh, you know, we're running low on time now, I guess, uh, we could just, uh, end it here. By the way, these are all coins. Um, and I'll see you guys later on more Paper Mario.